Oh, dude. Oh, it's so early. Welcome back to some more Legend of Skyrim. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. It is just a little under 6 o'clock in the morning, and already these guys are playing the loot, having some drinks. I don't know, I'm not sure if actually some of these people ever sleep. That lady over there in the corner? Yeah, I don't think she ever sleeps, nor does this uh, creepy guy with the helmet. He just likes staring at people. Now that I said something, he's going to walk away. But anyways, dudes, um, it's been a little bit since the last episode. And last time, we left off over in... Where was it exactly? I cannot remember. No, no, wrong key. Journal. Okay, map. No, world map. <laughs> We're getting confused here. But last time we left off in... I think it was Gearman's Hall. We went and recovered the remains of Ralphie's or Rorfie's. I can't remember his name. That's so bad. I'm terrible with names. I remember faces. The names are awful. Um, we finished up here, and then I made my way back home by following this route here. And along the way, you can see I found a couple of caves. I found Fort Amal, and the abandoned prison, Candle Crush Rock, and Dark Shade. Um, all of these, which uh, not very exciting, really. Um, Pine Peak Cave. Oh, I think that was like a little bear cave on the outside of uh, Everstead here. So, really nothing too exciting. Um, I did get a couple of good items here. I got a new shield. So, check this out. This is actually a light Yorvaskar shield, which I think is kind of fitting since we just joined up with the uh, companions. So, it's a pretty neat looking shield, too. If we go in here and take a look at the stats, it's actually pretty good. It was about like 10 points higher than my last shield. And I think it actually looks pretty cool. So, it's kind of like one of the little shields that they have on your Vasker itself um, which is pretty neat actually I kinda like it so I'm not real sure what mod adds to this shield but all in all not bad I did up it to fine so it's a little bit better than what it was about like one point and then I also got some new armor here so we got some mercenary armor and I found this in one of those caves so it's better than what we had before but it's still not great but it is light armor which is nice because I need to start parking up on uh, the light armor rank a little bit that way we can kind of get geared up and uh, be ready for everything that we got going on. But we're back here in Whiterun and we need to talk to Danica Pure Spring about the Nettle Bane and see what's going on with that because we got to help her revive the Elder Gleam, the tree here in Whiterun, and go see about, I guess, like its mother tree or the tree that it got, like, I don't know, rooted from or something. I'm not real sure what the case is, so I don't know where this quest is going to take us, but I figure since we're here, we might as well go ahead and talk to her and uh, not pass up on the opportunity because there could probably be some good stuff in there man you never know there could be some good loot along the way um, so if I had to guess I think she's probably going to be in the temple of Kinnereth here so that crazy guy is already yelling man it's so early go back to bed all of you guards I can understand but really it's too early Danica I think that's her. What is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? Gilder Green. Not Elder Green. Elder Gleam. Branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. <laughs> Please. Don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. Okay, hey, um, I found your so, thing. Have You're... you got the back from those filthy hag ravens yet? Yeah, we uh, we found it. Oh, I, well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. <laughs> of course, I'm glad okay. you did. Now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? I suppose. Why don't? Why don't you want to touch it? When he's Elder done. Gleam Sanctuary Road is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Was I correct in hearing uh, that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Yes and yes. Can I help you? I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. Uh, you know, we've already got Navi and we've got Lydia, which I'm not seeing either one of them right now. I don't know where they're at, but yeah, no, I'd rather not have company right I now. I understand. 
Sorry. Your journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. Okay. Well, I'll I'll go and clear it all out for you. If there's, you know, things that want to hurt you or something like that, I'll clear it all out. Why doesn't Danica want to touch Nettlebane? Where'd she go? Make it stop. What? What? Oh, she's sleeping. Okay, well, I guess she'd been up all night taking care of these uh, sick people, but... Alright, well, let's go see. Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove. She said it's to the east of here, so I actually don't know how far away that is. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Um, this it? Yeah, that's it right here. So, that's basically where we just came from. Perfect. <laughs> I guess we should have done a... Uh, brought Nettlebane back a little bit earlier on but that's okay so I kind of figured what we are going to do is we need to make our way up here to Estengrav Eustengrav um, to collect the horn for the Greybeards but we probably want to follow this path here so what I'm thinking there's two ways up north actually I guess there's three ways but this one is way out of the way for us right now so we'll probably swing over to the Elder Gleam Sanctuary and get this kind of quest cleared out and then we'll make our way back or you know what we can make our way up north and hit Windhelm cut across here make our way up to Dawnstar and then get over to this place, Ustengrav, and then from here we could come back down and come back to White Run, because we're gonna have to come back to White Run to turn in the sap from the tree, and then we're gonna have to come back over to the High Hrothgar to go talk to the Greybeards after we get the horn. So I don't know, maybe that's what we'll do. So instead of just kind of doing boom, boom, like left and right, back up and down, we can kind of just make like a big loop and open up a few more locations and stuff like that. I don't know, I think that sounds pretty good to me. So I think we are just about ready to go. I think I need to make some more arrows. Let's see, yeah, we could probably stand to make a few more steel arrows if I could. I got plenty of iron ones, which is okay, but the steel ones are a little bit better. And as far as potions go, I feel like we're gonna be okay for a little bit. We got 22 of the minor healing, we've got 17 regular healing. We do have some stamina potions, which I should probably put on the hot bar. So, I don't know. We've got a couple of cure poison. And we've got two cure diseases. I made sure to grab an extra one of those, just in case we run into any more stinking vampires. Which, uh... Ugh, they're all over the place, honestly. We, I think there's... Yeah, there's one down here. He's sleeping. <laughs> they keep attacking. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's the plan. So I'm going to get kind of geared up and ready to go, and then we'll head out the door. Well, the rain finally let up. That's kind of nice. Um, we are still getting a little bit here. Hey, there he is. Come here, dude. Alright, so we got our horse, and we also bought Lydia a horse last time, and... Apparently it's a magical horse. <laughs> that's fine uh, but yeah so now we need to I guess head east right so what we're gonna do we'll probably swing down low and then do we want to go yeah we'll just cut across right here and we'll kind of follow the trail from Valheim Towers all the way across over to Fort Amal and then we'll probably well it doesn't look like there's any roads over there does it we're gonna have to go south maybe and cut across here I'm not sure. I guess we'll just kind of get over there and we'll see what happens. Alright, so I think we're almost there. But I wanted to bring you guys back in and show you this area, man. This actually has to be one of my favorite spots in all of Skyrim. Um, I don't know if it's a combination of like all the mods that we have installed. But this place is breathtaking, man. Look at these scenic, like, scenic views. Oh, it's gorgeous. So, I'm seeing this place over here do we know what that is is that fort oh that's the abandoned prison okay so we have seen that before uh, the abandoned prison was kind of a cool little spot it was like a, a prison that got washed away by the water and everybody was like there's a bunch of ghosts and stuff on the inside so like I said nothing too exciting but it was kind of cool but we are back on the right track uh oh is this trouble 
Lydia. Be nice. Okay, we don't know who these guys are. They are getting attacked by a bear, though. Um. <laughs> okay, it just looks like they're Imperials. I could really use that bear pelt. I owe uh, somebody 10 bear pelts. Nice job, boys. Are y'all going to attack me? Are y'all good? Stormcloak soldier. Ah, I see what's going on here. Imperial business. Be on your way. All right. Well, I'm gonna take this uh, bear pelt. So we got five. We only need five more. Imperial bow, steel arrows, please. Thank you. The shield is kind of cool. I want that cloak. Is that what that cloak is? Might be. It looks kind of neat, but I can't. I can't wear the imperial stuff. Um. Right. So. It looks like from here, I think we need to go south and cut across from here and then go up, right? So we'll keep heading this way. Let's see what all we can find. But we're kind of getting into uncharted territories here. Um, Everstead, Riften. Yeah, so this is kind of the way that we want to go. Ooh, what's this place? Uh, does the sign tell us? Everstead Riften. No? It's just, just like an immersive settlement? I wonder. What does it say on the map? Are we... Oh, Darkwater Crossing. Okay. So, what's going on up in here? Oh. A little bit of lag. Okay. This place is kind of cozy. Oh, I like this house. Uh, Stormcloak. Uh, they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old form, they're rifting. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard it all before. Um, Anik an Cragjumper. The then I settled down. Got married. You were an adventurer? That's right. I used to explore all over. I'm the one who originally found the mine Darkwater Crossing was built around. Oh. I was actually scouting a bit the other day, old time's sake. Spite a brigand heading back to his camp. Up for a little hunting? My husband is being a sad stick, so I can't go myself. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I suppose so. This brings back memories. Come back when you're done, and maybe I'll be up to showing you a few tricks. Okay. Bandits are cowards. Sure. Don't strain yourself. So Jason I'm always up for killing bandits. Vernon Rockchucker. Werner Rockchucker. You're looking for work? We could use an extra hand in the mine. All right, Just don't everybody get up at once, jeez. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, Corundum. Uh, I wonder if we could get some good stuff in here. I guess we probably could. Dark water crossing. So from here, it looks like we just need to go like right up the way a little bit. So maybe we'll run and go take of this, take care of this first, and then we'll come back and kill all the bandits. I think so. <clears throat> I spy with my little eye a couple of wolves. And they're just going to stand there and be nice. Oh, dragon. Oh, we almost got that shot. Down a little. There we go. Up some. Oh, kill cam and everything. Oh, nicely done, sir. Oh, uh, dragon. Okay, Lydia. Are we ready for another dragon? I feel like we should probably... We take care of it. I with that nice little village over there. It would be. I feel like it's our moral duty to take care of this dragon while we're here. So, are you gonna land? Or anything? It's got like a spine or something. Oh god! 
I think it spotted us. Okay. Uh, oh, blood dragon. What is a blood dragon? Oh, we got spiders too? Lydia, what are you doing? Fight! Um, did we get it? No, we real wow. We missed that shot pretty badly. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Oh, oh, hi. Um, okay. There's a rock in between us. That's fine. Look at the tail on this thing, man. I've never seen a blood dragon before. Okay, we haven't downed it yet. We almost hit it. Um, hide, 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 hide. Where's my my horse? That's a good question. Oh. Um. Lydia, don't get too close, man. Can we come in and I'll fight it from the back? No, we missed it. Uh, okay. Uh. Somebody is slamming doors, man. Please don't land on top of me. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let's come in and get a few strikes with our sword. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I still feel... Oh, God. Um, I feel like the difficulty is not there. It's a little bit harder. Did we get it? Oh, we hadn't gotten it yet. There we go. Yeah, I feel like that was a little too easy. We only had to use one potion. So, I don't know. I may think about reinstalling Sky Re and do it that way and see if maybe we can get a little bit more bang for our buck, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. That might be kind of a dumb idea. Or Deadly Dragons. I really am not in the mood for installing Deadly Dragons because that sounds terrible. Lydia, what are you doing, man? You getting in trouble over here? Oh, there you are. Spider. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is kind of an idea. We'll just kind of have to play by ear and see. So where are we going exactly? I feel like we're really close. So we need to go um, this way a little bit. Soul gems. Tragedy in black. Chanting increase to 31. I'll take it. Uh, let's pull up the map here. Elder Gleam Sanctuary, I, I'm guessing it's going to be this cave right here. But I don't see a cave. Oh, no, I guess it's not. It's to be this way? Is there a cave over here that we missed? Oh, that's cool. Alright, well... Lydia? Are we ready? Okay, so what does their quest say to do, actually? Let's re re read through the quest one more time. So, Blessing of Nature. I agreed to help Danica Pure Spring repair the Guild of Green, the large tree outside the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun. Retrieve Elder, Green, Elder Gleam Sap. Alright, so we just gotta poke the tree with uh, Nettlebane. It's going to... I know what's inside. It's the Elder Gleam. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to go stab some trees. Uh, why do I always get bad feelings when we come into places like this? Just caves in general? This place is pretty big, though. Okay, uh, I'm kind of expecting Spriggans. I don't know why. I feel... Spriggan's coming. Can you not push me, Navi, please, just for a little while? It really bugs me. Spriggan's and saber cats. I don't know why. Maybe a couple bears here and there. That's what I'm feeling. Whoa. Whoa. 
Whoa, is this place serious? Um, look at this place, man. Oh, there it is. That must be the Gilda Green. Oh, who are you? It is pretty crazy. What are you doing in here, though? Who are you? Sond. Welcome to Elder Gleam Sanctuary, my friend. If you have any questions, speak to Asta. Asta? Who is Asta? God, this place looks amazing. Oh, are you Asta? Amazing that such beauty could exist in a place as desolate as the volcanic tundra. No kidding. Uh, what is this place? You are in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. Just a small glimpse of what beauty Kinneret has to offer. Wonderful place, isn't it? It is beautiful. Um, and that tree, is that the Elder Gleam up there? Yes, my friend. Though no one has been able to get close to her for as long as I can remember. As you can see, Elder Gleam's roots are large and stretch far blocking any path to her trunk. Though, believe it or not, there are rumors of a weapon that even Elder Gleam herself would lift her roots for. More out of fear than respect. Uh, you mean this weapon? The rumors are true. I beg of you, don't harm the tree. Nothing good can come of it. Harm the tree? I just need a little bit of its sap. Is that gonna hurt it? Well, I don't want to kill the tree. This place is too awesome. Is there anything in here? It doesn't look like there's stuff in here. No, nope, I take that back. It looks like there's stuff up there. Can we climb this rock? Woo, chest. Gold ingot, gold earrings, amethyst. I will take it. I wonder if there's any other hidden stuff in here. There's got to be some stuff in the water. Um, let's head up here first, though. I was, I'm kind of surprised. I figured this place would be loaded with, uh, monsters and stuff. And we can't jump over this? Oh, we can't. So, if I, let's quick save, because I don't want to destroy the tree if we don't have to. But, if we're going to have to get through here, we're going to have to use Nettlebane, right? So, let's equip Nettlebane. Can we just poke it? Ah! So it just kind of rolls up its uh, little limbs here. Somebody say something? Hopefully this isn't hurting the tree. So this is the Elder Gleam, huh? Activate Elder Gleam. Yep, I was right. Spriggins. Okay, well, let's take care of these guys. Oh, get him before he's down. He's gonna re regen health. Oh, oh, Lydia. I'm sorry. going on here some glitchy grass um whoo chest we can't get to uh nettle bane can we use you again there we go gilder glean heavy i guess was that a shield wow that's worth a lot that's got some really good armor, too. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh, look, it's like two Spriggans kissing. Strange. Oh. Dudes. <laughs> we found it. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Uh, Dwimmer control rod. I don't see anything. I don't know what that is. We'll take it anyway. Oh my goodness, guys. We found it. We found our shield. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, what does it look like? Oh, it's perfect. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Uh, let's get a real sword out now. Not just Nettlebane. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so my other question is, how do the stats compare? So, 24 versus 27. So, it is a little bit behind, and I'm hoping that we can enchant it up and maybe get some better armor out of it. Because I really just want to use this shield and only this shield. <laughs> I don't know, man. That would be kind of interesting. We'll have to uh, see what we can do with the smithy. But that is awesome. All right, man. Look at this place. This is amazingly beautiful. I'm going to take a screenshot. Get out of the way, Lydia. Oh, I love it. All right, well, let's do a little bit more exploring. Get away from this gr glitchy grass, man. It's driving me crazy. I wonder why it does that here. I don't know. Get out of the way. Oh, what? Um... Oh god, another spriggan. There he is. Let's bash with the shield. Woo! It's actually not bad. Oh. Now we just gotta find the master sword, man. We'll have the whole set. That'll be nice. And I do like it how it's like small enough that it's not clouding our vision here. Because with the other one, the Yorvasker shield. It's kind of big and bulky. Now I want to see how big this other one is. This one's got massive armor on it. But... I don't think I like that one as much. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cool. But I feel like this is kind of more of a trophy thing. Than anything. Because, I mean, honestly... This is where it's at. That looks so good on us. I love it. Um, there's another sprig in here. Did you kill? Did you kill those poor innocent people? I knew nothing good would come from, uh... Oh, what are you? Oh, you are a different thing. You're like a Spriggan Martin. Or Matron. Spriggan Matron? I've never heard of these things. Uh, let's get our bow out. Let's take these. Uh, match on. Lydia, you gotta learn to get out of the fight. Oh, we're almost got this one down. Oh, this thing is tough. Alright, back up, back up. Oh, got some more health. Oh. Oh, we got that one. Okay. Where's the other one? Lydia? Lydia. Oh, okay. There you are. You're, you're okay? You all right? Get out of the way. You guys got me trapped. Um, where did that... Oh, here it is. I've never seen one of these things before. It's like a bigger Spriggan. Whoop. Interesting. Did they kill those nice people though? Uh, let's let's bump let's bump some stamina. I feel like it's good. We'll wait to figure out the perk. And that's another thing. Her leveling up. I feel like she is leveling up a little bit not faster than me, but she gains more points or something. Cause she's very tanky. She's got like a lot of health, and I don't know if that's how she's kind of like meant to be or what, but I feel like at this point it's a little overpowered. Oh, they killed him! That's not right. These guys were just here enjoying the uh, sanctuary. Oh, 
that's kind of messed up. Alright, well, let's see. Is there anything hidden in here? Hidden chest in the water? I don't see nothing. Saw something. I'm all snappy. Okay. Well, I guess we are just going to uh, make our way. Well, I guess we don't really need to go all the way back to White Run just yet. We got to make it our way up south. Oh, we got to get out of the river first. How do we? We go up here. Okay, good. We're free. Oh, dudes, look at it. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited. Lydia, Navi. Where's Navi? There she is. Okay, well, now, I guess we need to... Ooh, what's going on with the map here? We inside? Local map. World map. Oh, that looks weird. So, I guess from here, we are going to head back out to the road. And I guess, uh... We'll go help them out at Darkwater Crossing. We need to figure out what's going on with their bandit situation. See if we can uh, take care of their little problem.